In at number 5, we've got the Battlefield 1 Classic, which has returned to Battlefield 5, and that is the Ribby Rolls. This gun is an all-round beast, being good in every single different type of department. It's got a great reload time with a 25-round magazine. The tap fire, which you will see in this clip, is very, very good, along with having one of the cleanest and one of my most favourite iron sights in the entire game. It has a great standard fire rate to accompany its damage output and its recoil pattern is very easy to control with minimal horizontal recoil and therefore the vertical recoil is super easy to control by pushing down lightly on your right thumbstick. But you'll know from watching previous videos how important I say tap fire is and the ability to be good with any gun at long range and this gun is no exception. It really really is amazing at tap fire uh, and you'll see how accurate you can be at even longer ranges than this. Uh, when tap firing. Coming in at number three, we've got the Kaffir 43 semi-automatic rifle, uh, and this is widely regarded as one of, if not the best, semi-automatic guns in the game. It is superior to many of the other options for semi-automatic rifles in the game, having an 11 round box magazine which is very quick to reload in comparison to some of the other rifles in which you have to reload, reload individual bullets or 5 round stripper clips. When looking at the gun itself as well, the 3 times scope as you can see there is very clear with a very thin front post which makes it easy to see and track targets at long range and it has a great bullet velocity and damage output to ensure it has a high time to kill but also makes it easy to track people at long range to ensure uh, quick and easy long range target kills which as you'll know I say is very important. In at number 3 we've got the M1 Carbine. Now this was very hard to choose because I also absolutely love the Gewehr 1.5 but when you compare the two guns statistically the M1 Carbine wins in almost every single different department. The only way the Gewehr 1.5 is better is having a 3 shot to kill uh, within very very close range whereas the M1 has 4 shots to kill. However the time to kill of the M1 Carbine is faster than the Gewehr 1.5 when you go anything beyond 25 meters uh, and so therefore the time to kill is also superior on the M1 Carbine uh, at those long distances. The M1 Carbine is just an amazing gun all round, it's got a 31 round magazine, you can fire it as fast as you possibly can with your trigger finger, it's no, it's no wonder why people with modded controllers and rapid fire choose this gun and it has no horizontal recoil with very minimal vertical recoil, it's just a great gun all round to use. Uh, and you really can't go wrong with it in any situational scenario. In number two, we have got the STG 44. This gun is just basically just an upgrade on the ribby rolls in every single different department. A bigger magazine size with 31 bullets. The tap fire again is also incredible. The iron sight is also still incredible. The reload time is still incredible. The damage output is still incredible. And you know, of course. Uh, as well, the, the, the recoil pattern is very easy and manageable. Uh, you literally can't go wrong with it in any way. It is the ribby rolls in every single different department, but just upgraded in every single different department. If you don't like the high recoil patterns of other guns like the Sturm Gewehr 1.5, then this gun is perfect for you. Literally anybody can use this gun, uh, and you really, really, like I said, you can't go wrong with this gun. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, as you'll see with my back to back to back to back, uh, 100 plus kill games on the channel so check that out but this gun you can't fault it at all in any way and in at number one of course it's going to be the Sturm Gewehr 1.5 this is basically the STG 44 but with a higher fire rate and a higher recoil pattern so this is therefore the option for the more skilled players who are able to uh, you know to control that recoil pattern um, being able to control that recoil pattern means you can have a higher time to kill weapon with that higher fire rate uh, but it's very similar to the Sturm Gewehr in every other way in terms of its magazine size, its reload time, uh, etc. And of course thanks to the higher fire rate you can play way more aggressive than the STG 44 being able to compete with some of the higher time to kill guns in the game and even has great tap fire with also having like the STG 44 a semi-automatic mode which can make you perfect at long range as well. Introduction cause they know Brit and Mo I hit the lot on my model Roll up gelato and throttle a couple models to Kyle who fucking brought up the bottle some